in Scotland, they're saying you're kind of fray, afraid of facing <laughs> up with Alex Salmond. Facing, and and um, down here, a lot of people are wondering whether, when it comes to leaders' debates, you would stop Nigel Farage being part of that. Well, I want the debates to take place. I thought they were good in the last election. Uh, I thought they took up too much of the campaign, so I think we could start them a bit earlier. The Scottish thing is, look, Alex Salmond wants the question to be about anything other than the question. So he would like to, he'd like to debate the SNP versus the Tory party or Scotland versus England. It's not. It's a debate between Scots well, about their Robert, future. Robert the Bruce against Edward the what, First. What it, it should, what it should be second, is right. Alistair Darling, leader of the No campaign, and uh, Alex Salmon, leader of the Yes campaign. Let them debate. And, but he wants to change the question. He's a canny guy, but I saw that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing about those TV debates is you'll be standing next to Nick Clegg, who mm. you've obviously been working with for, for five years. Now, I just wonder whether, as you approach the next election, you must have fleetingly discussed how your red lines for another negotiation might add up or not. But every time I talk to Nick Clegg about the next election, it starts with me telling him that my aim is to put him out of a job. Um, and he understands that. Um, uh, that works the other way too, doesn't it? Because Ed Miliband will be standing next to Nick Clegg and he'll be thinking, I better not be too rude about him in the event that I need him after this election. It's been a very peculiar set of TV debates. Do any of us think that Farage will be part of this? Well, I, look, I think the debates predominantly should be about people who have a prospect of becoming Prime Minister. That is... Uh, and you I think, think that, that Nigel is, uh, Farage is not going to be our next Prime Minister? Well, I, I don't think so, no. But, um, but look, there'll be lots of talks and negotiations and everything else. I mean, the last election, the debates really happened because I said, look, whatever it takes, I'll sign up to anything, let's go for it. You need that sort of attitude to get them And you'll, and get you'll the take that attitude again. Well, as I say, yes, but I think starting earlier, I thought my only regret was, the, you know, if you're leading a political party. The election campaign is a moment when you really want to get around the country, you want to have arguments, debates, interviews, all. and I felt the whole election was just the run-up to the debate, the debate, Do and then think... the analysis of the debate. Now we've got a fixed-term parliament, we can stretch those things out a bit. But look, others will have views and... and okay. uh...